Hi, are we back once again? Um, so the gamma exposure video didn't get a whole lot of exposure. So we're gonna try one more time. Uh, it was just an intro. It's pretty like when I first started this channel, it was uh, you know really basic stuff because I was kind of a really noob basic trader. So I was doing like basic charts and stuff like that. But I think. Hopefully people that have been following and people that are, are really serious about trading start to, you know, level up their their learning, level up their understanding of how the markets work is what we're trying to do here. So uh, if you're interested in that, then stick around, hit the like button, subscribe, all that stuff that everybody says. And uh, we're going to go back into the gamma exposure uh, type of charts. We're going to see how from yesterday, if you watch yesterday's video, the gamma exposure chart, how it played out with Tesla today, um, and why Tesla did what it did. So here's the chart that I set up based on the gamma exposure chart, and that's this one right here. This is what we pulled up in the video yesterday. Uh, go back and watch that and how I explain uh, what is happening with this chart and the gamma levels and that kind of stuff. Uh, we're gonna go back to the, the just the basic chart that everybody's kind of used to. And as as far as just like my candlesticks or whatever, I just have Heike and Ashy with uh, just this ATR uh, whole moving average. Uh, it just you know it just creates really nice trends and that kind of stuff. But so here's here's what we're looking at here. Now this is just the previous days and highs. This was the volatility trigger. Okay, so this is exactly where the uh, spike up happened it happened into a point a previous point of control which was last week's point of control and then that volatility volatility trigger tried to hold uh, but unfortunately that was the uh, reversal that volatility trigger was um, in this gex chart right here and that just happened to be the point where and I said this in the last video where market makers are going to be essentially flipping how they hedge their delta um, and they're just trying to essentially market makers are just constantly trying to get delta neutral delta neutral They don't want to take on too much risk. They're trying to provide a market for people to trade in uh, But they don't want to take on any risk. So uh, they've got these within the options chain they've got these levels where if the security is trading above that level You know, so for example in the 855 the market maker is essentially going to be doing the opposite of you Whereas uh, if you're buying the stock, they're going to be trying to short the stock. If the stock is going up, they're adding to their shorts. If stock is going down, they're buying the dip. Uh, what that's going to do is, is create a low volatility type of scenario. Now, Tesla tried to hold low volatility above this fall trigger. Uh, unfortunately, the market was not cooperating. And essentially what happened was, I think, is obviously the market sucked, but once that once the dealers once the market makers started doing their hedging they were shorting above this level so every time it tried to go up the market maker was pounding it pounding it back down pounding it back down pounding it back down and once the level gave up because um, i think we we even made it up to about 865 let's see here so we went up to yeah about 866 tried to take out that point of control and then this volatility level once it got back under there it was sayonara uh, essentially came back down to uh this green level here which is just a pivot point. That was just the weekly pivot point. Came right down to it, and it happened to be right to that gamma level. If you look at the video I talked about yesterday, it was very likely if Tesla was trading under 855 that it would end up trading um, 800. Now, it did pause a little bit here at this 815 earlier. I was kind of watching it. It was kind of spending some time there. Uh, but that that was just a small gamma level, Not not a, not really anything that was going to hold it up especially in the market we had today so uh, looking at uh, where it ended up it ended up closing right here on this gamma level and we we charted that out so what we're going to do is i'm going to find you guys the new updated chart and i'm just doing tesla because tesla is kind of a favorite for everybody that trades options and so we're going to look at tesla again just so that we can compare the chart from yesterday to the chart of today and see what it looks like. Yesterday we had planned that March 11th uh, strikes. You can see that strike there on the put side and then on the call side. That was going to be our range. And so we basically set up our range just with this blue box here. 
So we expected that. We, we highlighted the big uh, gamma exposure levels, big one there, big one there, and then our volatility trigger. And so I'm gonna get rid of the other lines just because uh, they're kind of pointless for what we're trying to do here. Because you really don't need them. You really just need these gamma levels to uh, make decisions. Uh, get rid of that as well. That was just a big buy that I had seen before. So, all right, here's the new one. Open this up. Now let's see if anything's changed. Uh, okay, well, that is not. Someone else uh, did something right in front of me. Here you go. Tell me this is it. Okay. Well, so this is the new one. We closed 804 um, right above the gamma exposure level. Uh, but you can see that the range has changed. The range now, the expected range is 855 and 755 essentially. So what we're going to do is just going to take this box here. I'm going to change the coordinates here. We got a new range expected just based on and look how the top of the range is that it is that volatility trigger. That's good. That's why these these levels are so key. It's still the same. Um, however, uh, the range has been drifted down. And now our pivot level here is this 800, which is this huge gamma level. Now, it's reasonable to assume that the next level is going to the next level where it's going to be sort of magnetized like I call them gravitron levels where they're just like it's just pulling it it's almost pulling the price towards it it's going to be this 750 level we see the big gamma here so these levels are for March 11th uh, we've got 5 million in gamma exposure which is quite a bit um, yesterday was about when we looked at this yesterday it was about 2.4 so that level has actually increased which makes sense uh, if you understand the skew, understand the put call ratios and that kind of thing, it's not that bad yet on the put call being only 0.93. So essentially that just means it's not exactly oversold yet. Uh, once you get up into the ones and ones and halves and twos, there's a lot of a lot of uh, charts like this that actually have way above two on the put call. Um, now you're starting to talk a little bit about oversold, in my opinion, being oversold. Uh, the skew essentially is saying that there's uh, some serious hedging going on. This, the lower the number here, the closer to zero it is, uh, the more uh, the, the, the stock is skewed towards puts. Um, the higher, the better. So you can see that it starts drifting a little bit higher as, as we go out into expiries. Um, so this is just kind of how I read it. So what I'm looking at here is this color here, whatever this like tan, this darker tan, uh, purplish tan is. Um, there's a lot of gex sitting here, uh, a lot of it here. So 800 obviously is going to be a huge level. Uh, so we got that level already put in there. And then what was our other level is going to be this 855 or the 750, which is essentially right below the expected range. And so we're just going to you know mark this out and just keep tabs on it as we watch Tesla tomorrow. Um, but you can start seeing how the if you if you chart it out on the on, on your just basic charts you can start seeing how the options chain is actually drifting the stock lower uh, as long as it's below this 855 the stock the market maker the dealer is actually going to be going with the flow so if the stock is going down they're going to be adding to their shorts if the stock is going up they're going to be buying they're going to be buying the stock so whichever way Tesla ends up going tomorrow most likely Whatever whatever direction it ends up choosing, it, it, that's going to be that's going to likely be the direction for the day. That's just kind of how you read it. It doesn't mean it works out that way. That's just what you plan for, just based on what you understand with what's happening inside the options chain and what the market maker from the market maker's point of view. Um, so most likely scenario is if under this 800 level, if it starts getting sold off, you already know it's going to 750. And you do see some gamma exposure sitting here on 700. So 750, obviously psychological level. 700, obviously psycho a psychological level. That's where most of that gamma exposure gets placed. But our expected range as of right now for Friday is just 755. So um, you would want to be essentially shorting the bounce under 855. I would not expect it to go much lower as of right now. Uh, then 755 if you were playing the stock for a day trade if you're playing a stock until Friday um, 
you know that's just going to be its expected that's going to essentially be where i would think it would pin is like 750 right now so hopefully this follow-up kind of helps out since we are building on what we looked at on tesla tomorrow we can see how it played out today we're going to check it out again tomorrow see how tesla works out um, and then hopefully by the end of the week we can see how if we track this every day we can kind of get a sense of where the stock is going to be by ex by the expiration date so if you like this kind of thing please let me know and leave a like leave a comment i know some people were like trying to get some premium reading videos going but i wanted to try this little series because this is what i'm into right now so we'll get back to some other stuff once i've kind of figured out figured this out and figured some other stuff out so anyways see you guys next time peace